Okay, number five, it's the toughest problem in this sequence over here. And number five, it's a manipulation problem. And I'm gonna go through it, and I'll do it at the whiteboard, all right? So what are we doing over here? We're trying to solve an equation. Let me just look at what's written down over here. This is number five, where they tell me, the first thing they tell me is that X is a positive number. All right, so my solution has to be positive, by the way. And they want, want this X to satisfy this equation over here, which is the cube root of x plus 9, and then it's going to be minus the cube root of x minus 9, and it equals 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cube both sides, all right? Now, granted, it, it, it might be somewhat of a nightmare, but I'll point out what I mean by that. If I do a minus b, cube it. So someone says, why, why are you doing that? I'm seeing this thing as uh, two terms, and I'm going to cube that. And I'm certainly going to cube this side as well. But before I do, I want to point out, it's, it's not that bad to do. You're going to get a minus 3a squared b, and you can do this by hand if you want, plus 3ab squared minus b cubed. All right, let's write this down now. So what are you going to, oh, I'm sorry, it's a cubed. So I'm going to put that down, so it's going to be uh, the first term cubed. Let's write this over here, cube, that's x plus 9. I'm going to cube that. So I got this guy done. I'm gonna do this guy over here. It's minus that last term, which is the cube root of x minus nine. I'm gonna cube that. And I got these middle guys over here, and I'll write this down for you. So it's gonna be minus three, and then it's gonna be the a squared, so it's gonna be the cube root of x plus nine squared, and then it's gonna be the cube root x minus nine then it's going to be plus 3, the first term, which is cube root x plus 9, times the cube root of x minus 9 squared is equal to, I got all four terms written down, by the way, it's equal to what? 27. All right, let's, let's see if we can do that. Well, the first term is just going to be x plus 9. That's not so bad. The second term, x minus 9. Then what do you get over here? I'm kind of looking at that. I'm looking at these two terms now. I'm going to rearrange them a little bit. I'm going to rearrange it as plus 3. And then I'm going to write down the cube root, x plus 9, times the cube root, x minus 9, squared. Let's keep going. Minus 3 the cube root x plus 9 squared, cube root x minus 9, and that's equal to 27. Now, what I know about the first uh, two terms I'm looking at, the x's disappear and I get 18. So I get 18 plus 3, cube root x plus 9, cube root x minus 9 squared, minus 3 cube root x plus 9 squared. Oops, I need to do that. Let me just get the uh, go backwards on that. Let me get rid of this. And let's write that down. So cube root x minus 9 equals 27. All right, it looks pretty bad. So the first thing I would do is probably subtract 18 from both sides. And let's write that down now. So you can get 3 cube root x plus 9 cube root x minus 9 squared minus 3 cube root x plus 9 squared. Let's see, cube root x minus 9 equals, well, 27 minus 18 is going to be 9. The next thing I would do is probably divide both sides by 3. And what do you get? The cube root x plus 9, cube root x minus 9 squared minus the cube root x plus 9 squared, cube root x minus 9. And I'm dividing by 3, by the way, so that makes this 3. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor. And you might wonder why there's no, I think I see something. All right, what am I going to factor out? 
Well, look at these things. I'm going to say they both have a factor of a cube root of x plus 9. Yeah, they both do. And they both have a factor of a cube root of x minus 9. All right. Well, what do you see now? Let's take a look at that. Well, I guess you get the cube root x minus 9 from the first term. From the second term, what do you get? You get a cube root of x plus 9. Now, I want to remind you, if you look back at the original question, they told me something. And by the way, to relate this thing over here, I want to tell you what the original statement says. It says the cube root of x plus 9 minus the cube root of x minus 9 would be equal to 3. So what does it mean this thing is equal to? It's the opposite of that. So this would equal minus 3. All right? Let's write that down. So you get the cube root x plus 9, the cube root x minus 9, and this would be minus 3. What does it equal? It equals 3. Well, it's getting smaller, but still I got those cube roots in it. What I'm going to do now, divide through by minus 3, and you get this over here. The cube root of x plus 9, and then you get the cube root of x minus 9. And what does that give you? Well, if you divide by minus 3, you get minus 1. What am I going to do now? I'm back in the same loop. I'm going to cube both sides now. And what do you get there? Let's write this down. You're going to get x plus 9 x minus 9 is equal to minus 1. You get x squared minus 81. It's getting easier now. Minus 1. x squared equals 80. I'm adding 81 to both sides. And x would equal plus or minus the square root of 80. I want to point out that 80 has a 16 in it. It's 16 times 5. Because 5 times 16 is 80. That's 50 and 30 is 80. So x equals plus or minus the square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 5 is just the square root of 5. But I do want to remind you, and I know it seems like a long road, by the way. I want to remind you that x is a positive number. So the answer over here is 4 root 5. They did say it's positive. Is this difficult to check? It is. But you could. You go back and check an original expression if you want. That's fine if you do. Thank you.